This is the top view of a rectangular bar of wet soap initially at rest on a horizontal surface. A dart is then shot and goes horizontally into the soap bar. Friction is negligible. Describe the subsequent motion of the dart soap bar system qualitatively. This is a collision problem happening on a frictionless horizontal surface. So we have net force on the system that is zero. If the net force on the whole system is zero, then we have the conservation of uh, momentum. So the whole system's initial momentum equals the final momentum. Initially, the dart is the only one with momentum, and the dart has a momentum to the left. That means the final momentum also goes to the left. So after the collision, the combination would travel to the left. By combination, I mean the system's center of mass. Suppose the center of mass of the dart bar of soap system is right here. That means that after the collision, the center of mass would travel to the left. In this case, the net torque is also zero because there is no friction. They are on a horizontal surface, and during the collision, the dart exerts a force on the soap bar. The soap bar exerts an equal and opposite force on the dart. And these two forces are equal and opposite, so the two forces would create torque relative to the center of mass and the one would be a counterclockwise torque, the other one would be a clockwise torque. So those two torques, the equal and opposite action torque and reaction torque, would cancel. Therefore, the net torque on the system is zero, so we have the conservation of uh, angular momentum. There, that means uh, the initial and the final angular momentum would be equal. Initially, the wet bar of soap is at rest, no angular momentum. The dart is the only one with angular momentum at the beginning. And the dart goes that way, which means that the initial angular momentum is a counterclockwise angular momentum. So the final angular momentum should also be counterclockwise. So after the collision, the combination would rotate about the center of mass in a counterclockwise direction while the center of mass travels to the left.